Water shoots from sprinklers here in Aurora, Colorado. It's something you probably won't see in many places across the U.S. this hot summer, as multiple communities are dealing with droughts. And it's something Aurora knows all about after major water shortages in 2002 and 2003. They applied water restrictions to where you could only water during certain times and on certain days. Traditionally, the city's water supply mostly relied on melting mountain snow. But in those two years, fewer flakes fell in the winter and runoff totals took a nosedive in the summer. Water supplies became dangerously low and leaders decided a more reliable source was needed. Aurora was in a situation about a decade ago where they were under extreme water shortage and they knew that their community was going to grow. They had to come up with a solution that allowed them access to more water. The solution was the nearby South Platte River, but the river's water is not nearly as clean as what comes from the mountains. So with the help of a high-tech solution called Contrafast, it is now. It's used to remove things like algae, clay, sediment that's in the water. It allows you to treat a more difficult source water. The system at the Binney Water Purification Facility cleans 50 million gallons of water a day using chemistry and technology to turn river water from dirty to drinkable. Intuitively, you'd think the water would taste a little bit different. Well, it doesn't. It tastes every bit as good as the, the mountain source. In many communities that are affected by drought or water limitations, those areas are forced to look at new technologies and innovative ways to use that water as effectively as possible. It pretty well assures our community of a uh, adequate water source for all of our homeowners. I'm Curtis Schick.